I just want to have a devil's advocate sort of question about uh, constructive engagement. So uh, in the 2000s, you could say that there was some seeing eye to eye on the issues of terrorism, for example. And you know, in Russia, we have Beslan massacre, we have the theater incursion, we have the rise of Ramzan Kadyrov in, in uh, Chechnya, human rights violations, and so forth. And then you fast forward to today, and you know, even though a thousand, you know, even though majority of our experts didn't think Putin would go into Crimea, he did. And even though it hurts Russia economically, he's going in there, and is the polls are rising, nationalism is all for it. So my question is, if we do the kind of constructive engagement, inclusion, and security structures that you say. Are we, to some extent, giving up some of these ethical human rights issues, but at the same time not guaranteeing any sort of, you know, positive security outcomes? If, say, you know, all of a sudden imperialism, you know, ideology has a more prominent role, and he decides to go for it anyway, regardless of the NATO threat. Thank you. Look, I mean, you know, our policy towards Russia should never be one-dimensional. I mean, you've got to look at the whole range of issues uh, in which Russia is a factor uh, in the way we think about our interest uh, in the world. And then the challenge for diplomacy and the challenge for statecraft in the United States is how do you construct a relationship with Russia uh, that advances our interest across the, the broadest range of, of interests possible. So European security uh, is one aspect of it. You know, you're not going to make a lot of progress on European security on the types of structure I've talked about in the near term because of Ukraine. Uh, I'm thinking more about a longer term type of arrangement uh, that might lead to a more stable uh, security environment uh, in, in Europe. We do have a lot of uh, concerns about uh, these ethical concerns that you raised. Uh, the issue for the United States uh, has not been to support what we would call the advancement of, of democracy, of these ethical norms in the world. In part, that's who we are as a country. Uh, and it's hard to imagine an American foreign policy where this wasn't an element. Uh, the issue really is the practical one of how you do it in the current environment. Uh, how do you ensure uh, that your <coughs> actions lead to this expansion or the opening up of the political system uh, and, don't, uh, and don't close it off? Uh, my argument here, uh, would be that I, uh, and also has a long lineage in, in American foreign policy, uh, is that of the United States as an example. Um, so we need to demonstrate that our system actually works at home in solving the problems uh, that we face now, uh, making an attractive model that other people want to emulate. Uh, the way it worked throughout much of the Cold War uh, and through, uh, I think, the initial years after the breakup of, of the Soviet Union. We obviously have a challenge with that. Uh, right now because of the nature of our politics in the United States. Uh, and it's remarkable as you travel abroad uh, how willing people are uh, to challenge the United States now as a model that they should emulate. And it's not only countries like Russia. If you think about Germany and the reaction to the revelations about what the NSA was doing, uh, we have a uh, sort of an image problem that we need to resolve in some way. Uh, and that would have, in my mind, a much greater impact on the types of things we would like to see happen inside Russia uh, than the more uh, forward uh, interference in Russian affairs, trying to support individual actors, uh, which I think in many ways uh, plays against our interests because of the way those uh, people are situated more broadly in the Russian population. So we need to think broadly, not unidimensional, uh, and the challenge for us is to balance what we're doing in a, in a, in a broad number of areas uh, to create the best opportunity uh, to see the type of long-term developments we would like to see globally and inside Russia.